Hi, I'm Sean and I've been a heating engineer for most of my life and I just want to give you a little introduction about how air source heat pumps work. So this is an outdoor unit, this is the actual air source heat pump. It draws heat in from the air around us and forces that heat into a refrigerant that then goes in to heat your radiators or your underfloor heating. It's quite important with this is that we've got clear airflow through there. Keep everything around the unit free from obstacles and any leaves and make sure it's nice and clear so we get that good airflow through the unit so we can draw in as much heat as we can from the air around us. Heat pumps are more efficient than other types of heating systems. They can give out more heat up to three units more heat for every unit of electricity that's consumed. We're so used to putting our heating on in the morning, going to work, leaving it off all day and then coming home, returning and putting the heating back on and then temperatures come up really quick. But with this type of system it's different. We need a slower, longer period. So what we do is lower the temperature in your room thermostat just a few degrees. So we keep it on and running low and this is called setback temperature. So in the morning we would get up and we would raise the temperature by a few degrees. We're not actually turning the heating off, we just let it run slowly with a few degrees temperature difference to make it comfortable. So just to recap, make sure that there's no obstacles in front or behind or around the air source heat pump. Also, use that setback leave it on for longer periods, just reducing the temperature down on our thermostat by a few degrees at night and when we go to work, and that'll make sure that this will work more efficiently.